let's talk. Louise Hay once said something to the effect of, where do you steal time? Where do you steal energy from people? Where do you not give back even in a sense of gratitude? This has always stuck with me. And so no matter whatever I'm doing, if someone is just kind to me out and about or, you know, we're driving and someone lets me in because they know I need over, whatever it is, I make sure I flow a lot of gratitude and love their way. This is coming up as a big message because with everything that's going on in the world, and if you do not know what's going on in the world, go look it up, okay? There have been so many things going down that people are not aware of, all right? So make sure you're looking that up. Make sure you are knowing what your fellow humans are going through, okay? So that's one. But with all these things going on in the world, that self-preservation part of us, which is there by design, right, to protect us, is going to go even further into overdrive. What does that look like? It looks like every man for himself. It looks like wanting to go live off in another dreamland and not be ready for whatever is happening in our physical world. It also looks like taking advantage of other people, taking them for granted. And maybe that's not intentional, but that's the whole point of this video here, is for us to be aware of it. If we sit back and we get into this routine and we just expect Maybe we expect others to take accountability for something that's our responsibility. Or we want to get into a victim mentality, which is, uh, and that's easy to do right now. It's understandable to get into that mind space. And I'm not talking about people who use uh, victimization as a way to manipulate others. I'm talking about can't keep up with this. You know, can't keep up with everything that's going on in the world or can't keep up with what's going on in my life. We can get into that powerless state and we're not helping ourselves. And what's more, that could start pulling on other people. Now, I want to use social media platforms as an example. For the Angel Souls platform, I've heard a couple of things that always good to get this feedback, of course, but it, it kind of woke me up and I'm like, that's interesting because I thought, you know, what I'm putting out there is working like this, but people are perceiving it like this. So let me talk about that. One person said that they're not getting uh, notifications for YouTube shorts. All right. So I was doing the dailies, right? So I'm still doing the dailies for the moment. But all of that's going to transfer over to uh, the YouTube shorts. Why? Social media is ever changing. People's interests, attention spans are always changing. And if I'm going to be doing this, I have to keep up with that, right? So especially channels like this one, sometimes they can get shadow banned. Sometimes, um, again, people are just having this discussion with a group uh, where we just don't want to go deep. We don't want to have to work all the time. Right? And I understand that. So people are gravitating towards the more surface level readings. They're fun. They're entertaining. And that's fine. But don't take that as your life guidance, okay? <laughs> like, treat it for entertainment purposes only, all right? But when we start kind of getting into this uh, space where we don't want to look at that, something like this business, you know, this platform is not going to do well, Right? Because what happens when I take away the dailies from my main channel? I'm going to get comments like, I miss your dailies. They didn't go anywhere. They're just on YouTube shorts. Well, I didn't get the notification. Don't depend on the notification. That's what I was getting at with the, uh, you know, the shadow banning. I don't know that I'm shadow banned, but you know what I'm saying? Like that can happen. If you have a creator that you like, 
go to their channel. I also realized that people were not aware that most of what I post is in the community platform. It's on the feed. So if you go to my channel, you go to community, you're going to see all the updates there. People didn't know that. So they're not coming to their suggested. I may not be coming up in their suggested. So when we're talking about gratitude and using this as an example, we're in this shifting world. Yes, it can be overwhelming. Yes, it could be hard to remember like, oh, that's right. They're not going to just pop up in my email. You know, I'm going to go over to the channel and see what's been posted. That's going to be a shift. And people might feel overwhelmed to do that. But then that gets into this whole gratitude thing. So sticking with the example of social media, because that's what I know. So <laughs> we're gonna talk about that. When, where do you steal people's energy? This is, this is fascinating to think about because I'm thinking about how many times I go and look at someone's TikTok or their Instagram or their YouTube channel. And I try to always remember to hit the like. But that's not enough. This is how you can show gratitude and give reciprocal energy to people who are offering you something. So yeah, obviously you can buy their services, you can buy whatever product they have or support them on Patreon. But another way you can do that is watch their video. Watch it, watch the whole thing, okay? <laughs> and then hit the like. Now, if you just go in and watch 10 seconds and you hit the like, it's gonna throw off the algorithm. It's gonna look like you're spamming, all right? Watch the video and have gratitude. Even if you don't agree with what's being said, it's not an invitation for you to become a keyboard warrior and start spewing a bunch of hatred and all that stuff into the guys that it's feedback, which is gaslighting. You're, you're trying to get people to overlook the fact that you are trying to rip their energy down. You want them to just accept it and move on and you'll get people to agree with you and, and, diminish that person for standing up for themselves and saying, oh, you're too sensitive, you're making too much of it, you know, all that. This is bad energy. And I think this is a very pertinent example. <laughs> and it's something to wake up to and be aware of. So if you don't agree, okay, I'm not saying that you can't have intelligent discourse. I'm not saying you can't, you know, respectfully say, you know, your point. Of course, do that. But don't just, you know, because you're having a bad day or you feel out of control in your life or you're feeling triggered, that's not open season then to go after someone, right? You're putting this bad energy out there. So another way that you can help, let's say, an online creator, my channel, anybody's channel, any platform, watch the content, like it, leave a comment. That's how you can help. Sharing. Make sure you're subscribed or you're following or whatever. If it's YouTube, make sure the notification bell is activated. Okay? Because this is an easy way to steal people's energy. You're showing up. You're seeing the content that they have put out there. If it's a spiritual message, the message that they're putting out there, the teachings that they're putting out there, the stories they're sharing... There needs to be a reciprocal offering or the imbalance is really going to be thrown up in your face. Does that make sense? Again, the, the social media thing was the best way I could put this, but this goes across everywhere in your life. So again, it doesn't have to be physical money that you're giving to someone, but you need to be sending good energy out to people. Gratitude. I have gratitude when someone sees that I have, you know, stuff in my hands and they hold the door for me. I have so much gratitude when I'm on the hiking trail and a mountain biker pulls their bike aside so that I can get by. So I don't fall over the edge. <laughs> I love that and I am so grateful. So this also taps into this entitlement Okay, where people think that they are owed something. For example, again, going with the social media example, I am a subscriber of yours. Therefore, you had better post when I say. You had better do what I want. You better not say that. I'm going to, uh, you know, silence you. I am going to tell you. I'm going to, you know, tell you what you can and cannot say. I'm going to censor you. 
And even if you don't say that outwardly, you're saying it when you unsubscribe. And that's fine. If you don't want to be like here or any other channel or whatever and you want to unsubscribe, that's one thing. But really stop and check yourself. Is it coming from a space of entitlement? I'm not just talking about social media here. And this is one of the most disheartening things about doing this work. You're sitting here giving examples. Hopefully that this triggers some deeper understanding and you could start applying it in your life. But people just stay to the, the surface level example and say that, I don't know what you're talking about. I already skipped ahead. I had one person comment, you talked way too much in the beginning that blocked. Did you just judge me for that? You're part of the problem. And you're going to get left behind. Because we ain't doing this anymore. We're not manipulating others in that way. And it absolutely is manipulation. I had another person comment, oh my gosh, you look 10 pounds thinner in this video. It's the clothes. Keep wearing them. Blocked. Mess around. Mess around and find out. If you judged me for saying that or you got triggered, you're a part of the problem. If you can't see what's wrong with that, you're a part of the problem. And what is the bigger message here? The energy you're putting out. You can listen to me or don't. All I can do is show up. All I can do is bring through what's coming up for me to share. If you want to dismiss it, you'll learn one way or another. So I know for me when I watch, especially... Um, People on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. If I see something, I don't get on there too much because I'm I'm a content creator. So <laughs> I'm usually here doing this. But um, when I get a chance to do that, I make sure I'm sending them love. Not just with like liking, sharing their stuff, um, leaving a comment, making sure I'm watching all the way. To, I don't just do that. But I'm sending love to them. I'm sending gratitude out into the universe. And I'm making sure these people feel loved. And it's not so much on YouTube. YouTube, this is just some side tea, okay? It is the weirdest platform, okay? Especially in the spiritual community. Everybody is, I've never seen anybody be supportive of one another. Um, uh, Barbara Goldsmith, but Bracca Golds, Goldsmith, uh, when I first got on YouTube, she was like, oh, hi, I like your content. I was like, thank you. And that was about the last bit of sweetness I got. <laughs> like, after that, it was just, ooh, I, we won't even go there. It's nasty. But on TikTok, I leave a comment on someone's um, post, and they'll come back and be like, this comment warmed my soul. Thank you for that. Thank you. Right? So I'm not saying that TikTok's like way better. Right? TikTok has its issues. But like, but this is um, that time where, like I was saying, it's going to be very tempting to start going, you know what? I'm looking for a job. I know you're looking for a job. And I see this position that I could do, but it's not really my area of expertise. It's really your area of expertise. And instead of sharing it with that person and giving them the opportunity, you're going, well, forget you. I need to pay my bills. So I'm going to take this. You might think that you're doing a smart thing because that's what we get trained to do in this world. Every man for himself. But the way that is going to come back on you, don't complain. Don't complain. I have been yelling from the rooftops that we have to be there for each other. We have to support each other. Pretty soon, that communal feeling, it's going to be how we live. It's going to be how we survive. Now, imagine if you were just this crappy human being who just only ever thought of yourself. You thought people were put on this earth to provide for you and you didn't have to give anything back, not even a thanks. Not even some support. It starts now. It's not somewhere off in the future. It's now. You are going to lose your job. You may lose your house. You're going to have a breakup. Your grown kids are not going to talk to you. You're going to feel like at every turn there's something in your face that you have to contend with. 
Now that in part is just kind of how the world is going. And I'm not saying that if something like that happens to you that you're a bad person. I'm not saying that. But you'll know the difference because you'll feel a punch in your gut. And you'll feel like, oh, there it is. You'll know there's a difference. How often do you want to just be combative with people? How often do you want to just contradict? Men, listen up. You do this a freaking lot. You think everything is open for debate. Now, your opinion, awesome. Go ahead and give it. Okay, we want your perspective. But it's never really present. I shouldn't say never because that's <laughs> it's a very finite word. But I find that often it's like, no, I'm going to negate what you're saying. The way I see it is this. And that is what I think. And it's done with such an authoritative tone that it's like, you're wrong. And what I just said is correct. And obviously that's what I was put on this earth for as a masculine is to tell you how things are supposed to go. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, admittedly, as a self-proclaimed lioness, look up some nature videos. Just look them up. See, see how that goes. See, see, what, see what's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> But these are the kinds of things that if we don't wake up to it, it's going to slam us, okay? People are out there talking about it. We're talking about it as best as we can because we're still in that de deprocessing or the deconditioning, let's say. Deconditioning kind of process. And so it's going to be messy. It's not going to be articulated very well. There are some people who have certain areas of study that can put it, you know, in a beautiful way. Start now. Wherever you go in your life, are you grateful? And conversely, if someone uh, does something rude to you, shutting down and not letting that energy seep in. Four seconds of a blank stare is powerful. It's very powerful. And it shows that you're not going to engage. Whether that's being powerless and people-pleasing or aggressive and going to fight them. You're not doing anything. You're right here. And this is the steadiest place to be. So let's get to the cards. What are we going to do? You don't have to. If you don't like this content, then don't mess up my algorithm. Okay? Don't go skip around in the stinking video. Thumbs in it down. Remember karma, honey. Remember karma. You want good or you want bad? Because the universe is ever balancing. What do you want? You can just walk away. You don't have to be nasty. You don't have to... Whatever. It's not like I'm sitting here putting down uh, people and being an evil human being. I'm sitting here saying, hey, we need to be aware. So what are you going to do with this? Don't just do this gratitude thing with me. Thank you if you do, okay? <laughs> but don't just do it here. Do it with other creators. Do it all over platforms. Do it out in your life. Like, I want to go to Dutch Brothers. Did you know that there's a code to the straws? The the color of the straws? I didn't know this. And I don't remember what color straws I ever got. <laughs> so, let me know. If you work for Dutch Brothers, let us know in the comments. But, you know, I go to Dutch Brothers and they're just having like a nice conversation with me and then they give me my smoothie I don't know, it's like it's 1990s. I don't know. I'm just all about the smoothies. But, you know, I, I get this and I just feel so different when I walk away from them. Just like when you come across somebody who's nasty, right? You get a different feeling. Now, if someone's having a bad day, they don't have to take it out on you. But if someone's just tired, because people love to twist things. If someone's just tired, I've gone to Starbucks and had them kind of be like, Michelle, here. And I say, thank you. Thank you so much. And you can always see where they're kind of like, like I'm trying to get energy up to, to, to be sunshine and rainbows for you, but I can't. That's okay. That's okay. It's not what we're talking about here. There's going to be a lot of hard-hitting lessons. And the question is, are you ready? Two cards. So please remember that the dailies eventually will go over to YouTube Shorts. You may not get a notification for that. If you want to support this channel, come visit. Go look for them. Okay? Can't guarantee I'm going to get them up every day. That's another thing I'm doing for myself. I'm not going to be on a time schedule. 
with these. Okay, there's lots of other projects I want to get done, and they're never going to get done if I'm like constantly, you know, content. I love making content. I love interacting with you guys that way, but it helps me, you know, by doing just this little bit where I'm not on a time schedule, it helps me out this much. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for your patience with that. And also, please make sure you're checking out my community tab. I didn't know people weren't looking at that. That's where I put all my announcements. That's where I let you know where like something comes up. Even if it's like a last minute like prediction or something comes up in my head, like a warning or something to get out to the people and I can't necessarily drag my camera out and set it up. I go ahead and I type it on there and I try to put photographs on just to catch your attention. Okay. So you know what's going on. All right. And obviously if you do want to support me, Oh, there's, there's the first one. <laughs> if you do want to support me, there are ways that you can do that. You can purchase a personal reading. They come in 30 minute increments. I just did that to simplify. All right. So if you want an hour, just get two. If you want an hour and a half, you buy three of them, right? And then in your submission form, let me know, like you want a love reading, you want an Akashic Records reading. Uh, I had someone recently come in and they wanted an angelic 2023 20, year overview. Awesome. They also want an Akashic Records reading. That can't, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Those are two kind of, um, very, they're very different readings. And you can't really cram all that into 30 minutes. So just keep that in mind. Um, and obviously, if you still want your 2023 overviews, you want the love readings, I get the love readings <laughs> this time of year, definitely. And as spring comes, you know, this is where people are starting to really do the soul cleansing. And they want to know what's next on their soul's contract. It's interesting all throughout the year how uh, different themes start to pop up. So just be aware of that. If you want to support me by getting a reading, angelsouls444.com. You can also support me on Patreon. You can join one of my lives. I still, for the time being, have my Gumroad library up. All that information is in the description box. What else do I have? Oh, Substack. I haven't had a chance to get over there and write because I've been doing this. So... 2023, trying to get more of that done. But, you know, you can go over there and check that out as well. Obviously, liking, watching the video, liking, subscribing, making sure you're hitting that notification bell, sharing, did I say that already? Sharing the video, commenting, that's what helps us creators. And even though we're not in the tech industry getting laid off, we, whether creators will talk about this or not, they may not because they don't want their image to be tarnished or whatever, but I'll say it. We get hit with that too because whenever there are mass layoffs, whenever there's something going on in the economy, people aren't showing up. They're thinking more about, you know, surviving. So they're not coming here. They're not buying things. So just show your love and support in the way that you can. All right. So there is that. And speaking of lives, the next one I have coming up is the intermediate Oracle card reading class. Instructions for how to get those tickets are in the description box. So make sure you are looking at that. Yeah, so far it's about cleansing our energy. It's about gentleness, awareness, releasing old patterns, you know, just relaxing into our lives. We need... Oh, <laughs> you didn't see that, but that was awesome. Creative writing. We need to make sure that we are prepping ourselves because... Uh, just prep yourselves okay that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> all right and clear audience all right where's the other one? Oh, oops I've got the color deck like on the bottom of all these other decks from the Oracle <laughs> class that I was doing we're good all right let's get this again please don't bury your head in the sand because the spiritual side stepping part of you says Oh, we can't be dragged into the distractions. We can't be dragged into these false narratives or being scared or whatever. These things are actually happening to your fellow humans. And if you, we could say and be spiritual all the day long. But what are you going to do about the people who are not in that same space, who are causing things to happen? Don't be scared, just... Lift your head and look around. That's it. That's all you got to do. See, this is why. This is why we're in this gray, fuzzy area. Listen, let's talk about it. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So 
Chakra Clearing Archangel Metatron. And I'm going to read this right along with it. So this is gray. Learn to scan your body. The number is 29. Reduce it to 11. 11 is a master number. It's a time of mastery. But look at this energy that we're in and what we're being asked to do. Clear your chakras. We are going to be confused. We are going to not be doing the right thing. We're going to be in such survival mode that we'll forget community is all we have. Or we'll get into a scared place and that community forms, but we let some evil person who's pretending to be good be the one in charge. Someone with an agenda, we let them be in charge. So this is the energy that we're in right now. If you got to this part of the reading and you skipped the whole first part of the reading, you might want to watch it. We're talking about you. You were mentioned. Go back and watch it. Because you're contributing to this kind of energy right here. Now this could also be, oh my gosh, my life is changing. I can no longer be in the past, but I haven't really created the future yet. You know, so this has this other part of it that's not bad. You know, it's just kind of like the, the limbo. <laughs> right? If you guys can't see, it took me years to see this, but that's um, actually Buddha in that. I think it looks like Buddha. Yeah, the hands of, of Buddha there. So keep that in mind. So we have Metatron. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. We need to clean up here. Clean up your energy and test your thinking. Not self-doubt, but don't just go bumbling through life going, this is how I see it, and that's just how it is. I can tell you as somebody who has been spiritual, I was that weird little kid who could see dead people. So... <laughs> I've been open in that weird way my whole life, my whole life. And when I was a teenager, I would go to sleepovers and I was the one doing readings for people. I used to do the, um, everybody, ha I don't know why I always blank on this, where you hold an object and you're reading off of that. It's really that and crystal readings were the first ones I ever did. Wild, huh? Um, but anyway, I used to do that all the time. I've been doing it professionally for a decade. And I can tell you, that is someone who is devoted to spiritual practice and spiritual understandings and staying on top of what's happening, trying to heal myself, trying to develop my spiritual self. The physical, if, if you don't, if you don't ga engage in the actual reason why you're here, which is to be human, if you don't do that, you have failed. Don't go around acting like, oh, I'm, you know, I get up with the sunrise and everything is just so peaceful and perfect in my life. Like, you're going to reincarnate, okay? <laughs> you're going to come back. You know, you're going to come back and you're going to have to do it all over again. Just be human. Do not beat yourself up for being human. We are here to experience duality consciousness working to unity, right? Working towards balancing, right? This, this idea here. And it can first feel like this. That's what's going to happen. So don't beat yourself up if you're angry. I find anger to be very useful. I know all these spiritual people are like, oh God, you, you, nah, nah. false guru, maybe. Because um, <laughs> uh, anger and being fed up is the thing that makes me break through walls. That's the thing that gets me up and running and going, I'm not accepting this. I want something better for myself, right? You know, so as long as you're not taking that anger out on other people, feel me? Okay. Gentleness, speaking of. Be gentle. Archangel Sandalfin, who is the brother of Metatron. Uh, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. I did not write this deck. I don't like those words. This is spiritual sidestepping. Why do you still use the deck? Because I want to. And I think it's, it's fine. Thank you for your input. Anyway, <laughs> the idea here is to be gentle. And be gentle with yourself when other people want to judge you for being you. And let me put this out there. If you're somebody who's like, oh my gosh, I'm such a huge supporter. I'm such a huge supporter. But anytime I start start being a strong woman, <laughs> your inner conditioning really shows. And it's when you're trying to be politically correct to a point that's toxic. Or, you know, kind of going, maybe don't put it like that. Maybe, maybe watch it because you're harsh. You're literally showing up and telling me on my platform, in my house, 
telling me I have to sugarcoat things? You don't live here. I do. And you're my guest. All right? I will love you. I will treat you like family. But don't come around with your judgment. No. Go back and listen to the beginning of this reading. Dang it. It was like 25 minutes long. <laughs> so, so settle in. Get a cup of tea. Okay? Listen to what we're saying. Creative writing. So Archangel Gabriel, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen, an article, or book. Now, the journaling. If you feel like you want to be a keyboard warrior, get a journal. Get a journal. Put it in there. Nobody needs your nonsense. What? Nobody needs your nonsense. Watch the beginning of the video. Okay? Do that. I also want to say, start enjoying more creative writing. Do you know how people, how many people do not read anymore? What? It's like my favorite thing in life. I don't get a lot of time to do it half the time because, anyway, um, but, you know, for many reasons, but like, I do try to read all kinds of different things. We need to be reading. Okay. You need to see the words in your face. Okay. I don't, maybe I'm just prejudiced about that because. I am a writer, so, so maybe just, okay, ignore that part. I don't know, but make sure you get a journal if you're one of those negative people who just wants to yell at everybody else because you feel powerless in your life. Thank you. Okay. Clear audience, Archangel Zadkiel. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Sorry, I paused there for a second because this was making me, for some reason, think of this card, that gray there. Um, yeah, there's going to be some messages coming through. For some of you, it may be clear audience, but it also could be clear sentience coming through. That's what I feel. Um, and that is because you're, you're getting a little signal like, hey, you're taking someone's energy right now. Hey, you're not showing gratitude. Hey, just because things are not the way you expected them to be doesn't give you license to be nasty to someone. You're not respecting someone else's perspective, right? Um, at the same time, it, it, it's just about balancing. You would balance it out. And even as I say these things, people go into that duality consciousness and they take it too far this direction or that direction. And that's not what I was saying. So we see people twisting other people's words. It's complicated. Why? Because we don't know how to be... That was my ring, sorry. <laughs> we don't know how to be balanced without feeling like we're in this gray stone kind of area where we're not having forward motion we don't know who we're becoming i just got a huge message this is for corporations uh wow watch how you treat people watch how you treat people so if you're one of those corporations out there a lot of people are looking for jobs right now and i started looking for a job as well I mean, with all the moving and shaking in the world, like that's like probably good to have another, you know, form of income if we don't have internet, if we don't, you know what I'm saying? Like just for my own security. But what if I put that out there and a corporation's like, well, we don't like that you do that content. So you got to watch that corporations you have got to watch that because the people are not putting up with that stuff anymore if you're going to threaten someone's livelihood because you don't like their opinion even if they're not associating with your business like they're not showing up and doing the content um under the guise of being your representative and you might argue well you're always representing us Ooh, that gets down that road of because we give you a salary we own your life you don't okay as long as somebody's being careful and again not dragging you into their opinion um, as long as they're not hurting anybody. Okay. No, they're, they're, <laughs> they're extremes to everything. As long as they're not hurting anybody and all that, that's one thing. But with the prevalence of social media and so many people being out there and, and making content, I'm getting this message that corporations are going to have to change how they view that in some way. And the bigger message being watch how you treat people because it is going to come back on you. All right. So I'm going to move on. For now making dailies, remember they're going to YouTube Shorts and you may not get, for any video that anybody puts out, you may not get a notification. If you want to support the creator, go to their channel. Go in and see what they've produced for that day for you. All right? We will leave it there. Leave your comments in the comment section. 
and just be careful. <laughs> you can disagree, but make sure that what you're saying is actually constructive. All right, we'll leave it there. Sending you love and take care.